Again, and welcome to another tutorial in math. So, ang topic po natin ngayon ay solving rational algebraic equation transformable to quadratic equations. Another equation that can be transformed into quadratic equation. At itong equation na to ay isang halimbawa ng rational algebraic equation na kung saan pwede natin siyang i-transform into quadratic equation. So, ang unang gagawin natin ay hahanapin natin ang least common denominator sa equation na to or yung LCD. Ang LCD, ito yung expression na kung saan maaaring makatanggal or makakancel dito sa denominator na to. Sa t minus 3 at saka 2. Ano nga ba ang expression na pwedeng makatanggal sa denominator na to? So, para makancel natin yung denominator na t minus 3, kailangan natin ng t minus 3 din. At para maalis din natin yung denominator na positive 2, we also need positive 3. 2. Okay, so in short, ang LCD or yung expression na gagamitin natin ay t minus 3 at saka positive 2. Okay, so ang gagawin lang natin ay multiply lang natin yung equation na to, both sides of the equation sa LCD na nahanap natin. Okay, so una, kopyahin lang natin yung LCD natin na t minus 3 and positive 2. Imo-multiply natin to dito sa unang expression na 4 over t minus 3. Plus, again, multiply natin. So, yung LCD is t minus 3 and positive 2. Multiply sa t over 2. So, not equals. Then, yung LCD natin, t minus 3 and 2. Then, multiply natin doon sa negative 2. Sorry, hindi na kasha. Next, tingnan natin yung common dito sa LCD natin at saka dito sa expression na 4 over t minus 3. Okay, so kung mapapansin ninyo, pwede natin matanggal yung t minus 3 at saka t minus 3 na denominator dito. So, ikakancel natin. Okay, so ang matitira... Imo-multiply lang natin to Sorry. Oops. May shadow. So, eto. Multiply siya dyan. So, 2 minus 4 is equals to 8. And then, plus. So, dito. Cancel natin ang 2 at saka 2. So, i-distribute lang natin ng maayos yung mga natirang expression. So, yung t multiply sa t then t multiply sa negative 3 okay so we have t times t is equals to t squared then t times negative 3 is equals to negative 3t then next equal okay so dito mo multiply natin sila lahat okay so una multiply natin yung 2 times 2 okay so 2 times 2 is equals to 4 so, ilagay ko lang dito, 4. And then, sorry, negative 4 pala. Okay, negative 4. So, yung product neto, i-multiply or i-distribute lang natin siya dito sa t minus 3. So, negative 4 times t and negative 4 times negative 3. So, t times, or negative 4 times t is equal to negative 4t. And then, negative 4 times negative 3 is equal to positive 12. Okay, so next ay i-arrange lang natin yung equation na to sa standard form of quadratic equation of ax squared plus bx plus c is equals to 0. And then, i-combine natin yung similar terms. Okay, so to do that, unahin natin yung quadratic term which is t squared. So, t squared next ay negative 3t. Is we will apply the addition property of equality. So, negative 40, pag transpose natin siya dito, magiging positive 40. Then next, so positive 8. And then, dito sa right side ng equation, meron din uh, positive 12. So, we will apply addition property of equality. So, transpose natin will become negative 12. And then, is equals to 
0. Okay, so this time, co-combine lang natin yung similar terms. So, copy natin si t squared. Then, negative 3t plus 4t. So, different sign. So, tayo ay magsa-subtract. So, 3 minus 4 or negative 3t plus 4t is equals to positive 1t or t na lang. And then, 8 minus 12 is equals to negative 4. Is equals to 0. Okay, so ito na po yung equation natin, t squared plus t minus 4. Lahat sa equation na yan, hahanapin natin yung, yung solution or yung roots ng quadratic equation na yan. Okay, so we will use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation. Okay, so in this equation, ang a natin ay, identify natin yung value ng a. So ang a natin is 1. Ang B is equals to positive 1. Yung C natin is equals to negative 4. So, this value is a substitute lang natin dun sa formula ng quadratic equation na negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Okay, so substitute na natin. We have X is equals to negative. Your B is positive 1. So, plus or minus the square root of Ang B natin ay 1 squared, then minus 4 times 1 times C is negative 4. All over 2 times our A is 1. To so simplify, we have X is equals to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared is equals to 1. And 4, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 4 is equals to positive 16. All over 2 times 1 is equals to 2. Okay, so next, X is equals to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 16 is equals to 17 all over. Final answer is x is equals to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 17 all over 2.